Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on how to do a database design for a trillion dollar e-commerce platform. This is second video in the series of e-commerce platform design. I am Prasanna. Before we get into the design part, why is this database design so important? It is because of four reasons. Reason number one, it is very costly. It will cost at least $50,000 to do a database design for a large and complex e-commerce platform. The operational and maintenance cost of such a database server is also expensive. Reason number two, it includes highly confidential data such as customer bank details, credit card details, etc. Therefore, it needs to be secured and protected against cyber attacks. Reason number three, as there are billions of products on the e-commerce platform, when the customer is looking for a particular product, then the search result should show the desired product in the list without taking much time. This will obviously increase the business volume because more orders takes place and more users get attracted to the website due to its performance and its easiness of buying the product. Reason number four, as we have access to this huge amount of product details, customer trends and seller details, it is completely possible to predict the future growth of a product. This is the agenda of the session. Initially, we will look into critical data on e-commerce platform, how to form tables and create database tables with these data, important database terms, and then relationship between these data tables, and how, how to avoid mistakes in database design, eight costly mistakes discussed in this session, and finally, crude operations. What does an e-commerce platform contain? It will have customer details, the orders executed by the customers, and other details such as product details, product properties, product owner details, seller details, and wish list of the customer. So let's take customer user details. It will hold properties such as customer ID, name, address, mobile number, email ID, prime member, and member since details, like for example. And the orders executed by the customer will hold fields such as order ID, customer ID, product ID, name, quantity, its cost, etc. Here, customer ID is the primary key of customer's table which uniquely identifies the each customer. Similarly, order ID is the primary key of order table which uniquely identifies the records, orders placed. Customer ID is the foreign key in the order table which refers to the customer's table here. So with these column details, we can form the data table, we can form the table and create database tables. So you can see example data shown here for customer ID, name, persona, address ID, etc. For orders table, similarly, you can see the example data here shown. Now the products table will have fields such as ID, uniquely identifying the product, name, description of the product, product cost, currency, product owner who owns this product and its rating, customer rating. Seller details will have its ID, name, its rating on the platform and what type of business is it? Is it privately owned or public owned business? Its registration number, phone details, contact details, etc. Now, on an e-commerce platform, the product can be into various variants because it is based on the size. For example, let's take shoe. 
it can vary based on the size based on the color based on the material therefore as we see multiple variants here let's have a table for each of these properties size material color id now the product variance is in between the products table and this universal properties what we saw so it will have the product id which refers to the products table size id color id which refers to the universal properties and sku is one critical field on e-commerce platform it is stock keeping unit it uniquely identifies a product variant and it's available quantity is 200 on the inventory now let's see customer address details so the address field is split into various columns with address apartment number street number address line city region postal code this will help in filtering the customers based on city region etc easily and here the country id refers to the country table which is separate with the country name so now these address is identified by its address id 455 and it is part of the customer id 100 and it's in the active address so this is the customer address table and it refers to the address table here and the address table further refers to the country table here this is how the customer address is maintained customer list wish list so you can say uh, the list name and uniquely identified by its id again the customer id what products are added into this list and its date added date and comments so now we have seen the important database tables on e-commerce platform let's shortly look into important terms actually to understand this database the innermost core part of the database is the data type persona which is of data type string it's under the column customer name similarly there are other columns such as customer id address id mobile number etc record will have details such as 100 prasanna 252 mobile number etc under these columns which forms the data record a data table will comprise of a series of data such records which includes all the customer details under these columns customer id name etc and the database itself will have all the data tables as we saw customers products order id and these are data tables are part of this database this database itself is managed by the database management system software which creates this database and manages this database and this dbms system itself resides in the database server so now we will look into relationship between these tables a simple analogy to easily understand this relation relationship concept let's take a pan and a roti and that set of rotis are breads a pan can have n number of breads or rotis on it and a bread or roti belongs to only one pan so this is the relationship between the pan and the bread or roti similarly let's look into the relationship between different tables on e-commerce platform a customer can execute n number of orders and an order unique order belongs to only one customer a product can be placed on different orders by different customers and the order itself can contain n number of products a customer can have 
n number of addresses an address can belong to only one customer unique address a customer can have n number of lists and a list unique list belongs to only one customer so these are the re important relationship between these database tables now let's see the eight costly mistakes to avoid in database design which is very important mistake number one always use proper data type with correct length for example a field such as gender can have values such as woman man transgender etc and therefore its maximum length is 11 so we can use a data type with the character of length 11 similarly email id can hold a maximum of 320 characters of data type n var char because 64 characters can be used for username maximum and at the rate is one character and the domain name can have maximum of 254 characters therefore in total 320 characters phone number it is based on our requirement it, if it has international numbers or if it has extensions then it, the data type var char can have a maximum of 15 length therefore it's all based on your requirement there are also other data types such as date time boolean yes or no cost and if it is a tiny value like uh, less than 220 255 then use a data type of type tiny so why do we do this it will save a huge amount of data storage space which further increase the improve performance of the database the, uh, a summary of different data types as you can see here mistake number two never load the application layer with lot of application logic instead use relevant constraints on the database itself for example a primary key can be used to uniquely not only to uniquely identify a record but it helps to execute the SQL query very fastly because of this constraint. And never use a tax number for that because it can change. And always auto generate these values with identity, etc., in the create commands. Foreign key, it refers to the primary table of another table. Unique key, it is important for columns such as tax number username etc which needs to be unique it can change but it needs to be unique two customer cannot have the same tax number not null if it should not take any empty values check if you want to add additional checks before inserting a data record into the database default while you are inserting into the data variable if you if you are not specifying value for the column then this is default value would be set on this column automatically mistake number three never overload the database with two duplicate columns what i mean here by duplicate columns the above table that you see is customers table it has already the customer name so the below table is orders table it is already having the customer id 100 which references to the customer id id of the customers table so where you can do a select query with joining two tables with the conditions on customer id being same on both tables and get the customer name column details directly from the customers table so you please avoid having this customer name once again on the orders table this will obviously take too much load on the database reducing its performance mistake number four an address value is a very long string never have it on a single column instead split into several columns it helps to filter the 
records easily with city region etc so you can get the cost select the customers from the city new york very easily and this is referenced by this id address id which is the primary key for this table mistake number five always store the passwords with hash values to add additional security to the database as it is highly critical data never have space in between column names table names why because it is readable of course when you write a select query it may be readable but you have to add additional quotes when you're having space in between so have camel casing if possible or use an underscore instead of the space mistake number seven you will have values such as last login data so this value keeps changing so in this case have a small data table instead of a large data table containing this data just the customer id and the last login data these two columns are not enough and as similarly it applies to user credentials username because there are billions of customers on e-commerce platform and the login page can be in such a way that thousands of customers log in at the same time therefore the there will be too much load on the database so in you have a trick of reducing this column count with only the user credentials and its customer id therefore the performance gets increased at the same time avoid changing values say age number of years since member these values keeps changing on the database and it has to be updated for each customer on the database so instead use the application logic in the application layer to calculate the age based on the date of birth store this date of birth on the database for the customer mistake number eight always have an in mediating table when you see this multiple variance possibility say we have already seen in um, e-commerce database table this universal properties and product variants so a uh, product variant is the one which is in between the base product which has the product id and the universal properties with the size color material ids so this product variance table refers to ids of products and the ids of uh, properties similarly when there is a requirement to have multiple phone numbers then phone variants multiple addresses for customer then address variants so thereby you reduce its complexity you can see here one such example there are more possibilities for contact number therefore a table for the contact number id and its phone type and number and this is referenced here just the foreign key in this table 566 referring here so finally we we have we have come to the end of this eight costly mistakes topic and now the last topic which is crude operations so there are four commands which you know insert into select from update delete from as you can see the syntax here we can insert the column values this way to the table customers and we can do a join condition connecting this orders table and customers table and select the columns from both tables and update the table this value and delete any record from the list customer wish list shopping list with this command yeah here we come to the end of the session thanks for watching please like share and comment if you like the video thanks a lot